Hello, and welcome to the Program Pathways Mapper tutorial. In this segment, we will cover the ability to filter course lists by unit, using custom lists to display a and or choice, and the unit warnings that you may see in authoring tools. To use this feature, navigate to the map you wish to create or change and click Edit. For this example, I'm going to add different pre-built lists to an existing program. The first list to be added will be a pre-built one in the first term. Once there, click Add Course List and choose the list you wish to add. For this example, we'll be adding Journalism List A. Now for this map, we're going to specify that a student should take a two-unit journalism course. The unit filtering feature will automatically remove any course from the list that is not two units. To view this, let's add it to the map and view the preview. Now, when you click on the journalism list A course card, it only shows the two unit courses. And if a course has variable units, there is now text specifying to the student which option to take. But let's say a student simply needs to take a minimum of two units of journalism courses, but can fulfill this requirement by taking a three or four unit course. Let's return to the map builder and add the journalism course again. It will still be for two units, but this time we will also check the box to include courses that do not have this exact number of units. Once done, click Add to Map. Then we'll go to the Preview tab and click the course card again. As you can see, all the courses contained in this list now appear. Now, when we return to the map builder, there is a warning. This warning is simply telling you that the journalism list we have just added contains courses that are not the two units we specified. The only warnings that will prevent publishing are shown in red. This warning will also show up on the Publish tab. This warning is to help make maps and degrees clean and consistent, especially on ADT maps, where the number of units to receive and be able to transfer the degree is important, and to prevent a one course card from being used to represent more than a singular course. On the positive side, this feature can be used in cases where a student can take one class or another, though it is recommended that the lowest unit option is used to set the units on the card. Let's return to our map to create an example of this. In one of the terms, we're going to click the Create Custom Course List button. From this pop-up, we're going to add a title. The number of units to take. update the description if needed, and then add the courses. Once done, we'll click Add to Map. Scrolling back up to the Preview tab, we can view the list we just created. As you can see, this indicates to the student that they should take Math B22 or Math B23. And clicking on each course within the list will show a detailed view of that course. That concludes this Program Pathways Mapper tutorial. 
Thank you for watching this authoring tools training video. If you have any further questions, please watch our other training videos or feel free to contact us.